So what I did, because we got rid of the fuel injection, which means we're going to get, I suppose I could run a separate ignition system running off the crank trigger with the fuel injection, but I'm like, yeah, that's it's too simple in a difficult way. So what I did, I made up this bracket and I've got these so you can index, you know, retard them and advance them as the engine's running. They're running off the two front cams here. There'll be a little drive thing there. I've got this left and right hand thread so I can independently time these. You know, we'll get one set and then I can change the other one in relationship to that. Like I said, they just forgive this. I'm gonna put a bracket here, this won't be the clamp. But then the other thing that I've done, uh, I've made the shaft that comes off the bevel gear come across this runs through here, it's got bearings either side, runs right in front of the head, and then this, the, the shaft for the bevel drive will be running off this, um, I guess they call it an intermediate shaft, or sorry, auxiliary shaft. So that runs the cams, this one will be running this, running this. I've got this underdriven a little bit, so the boost isn't ridiculous. The other thing, we're going to put some spacer plates under the cylinders, you know, to lower the compression, we're going to be, I think originally these are 11 to 1 compression, which with a bit of boost might be a little bit too much. It's probably going to blow up anyway. So we're dropping the compression down. I think we've worked it out with 2.5 millimeter uh, spaces. We'll get it down to about 8.3 to 1, which I think is respectable. And with the amount of boost we're going to run, should work good. I think it looks fucking tits. I like the view from the back too. A lot of shit going on. This, this is so stupid. <laughs> 